It's Wi Fi. No, I know that. I just don't know. That. I was just trying to figure out what it was and where we at. So that way I can look and see when we talking. Oh, wait. Ask me. Wait, go to your thing because I'm connected to it so I can oh, share. Oh, you can share it with me. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why I love the iPhone. You want me to use this one? No, no, no. Use that one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's on video. <laughs> oh, you have that? That's on video. Me just wiping out. Um, wait, hold on. Fucking. Yeah, I don't know. Check, check, one, two. Hell yeah. Checkity, check, McCheckerson. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, there we go. See, boom. Share that password. Sh sh share, share. Ah. That's nice, huh? That's crazy, yo. That's sick. That's crazy how technology has fucking changed the game of Evolved. these houses. For some reason, uh, the router situation, Wi-Fi at my crib, mm -hmm. it's uh, you have to go on the router and get the long thing, and and you can't. Ch I don't know why Julian didn't change it. <clears throat> so we just have like TC eight nine five four. It's like a nightmare. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's like a regular Wi-Fi password for like an old people's house. But you know what I did notice? Yeah. My router doesn't have this. I had a point to this. I remember now. Uh -huh. Some routers have a QR code that you scan, mm -hmm. and then it just connects you to the internet. And then it connects you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is fucking fire. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. What's your favorite technological knick-knack that doesn't, like, ha like, mean really anything, but it's just tight to use? Like the share Wi-Fi thing. What do you mean? Like, what's your favorite little knick-knack internet thing that you use? I don't know. What, yeah. What the fuck does that mean? What do you mean? No, like the share Wi-Fi thing. That's like a nice, uh huh, little knickknack. You know. I guess, I guess Apple Pay. I don't know. Yeah, I guess yeah. Like I, like yeah, I can pay with my All phone. Right. Yeah, don't look at me it's so weird. This is Apple it's Pay. A, yeah, I like Apple Pay. Yeah, Apple yeah. Pay's Apple tight. Pay's, mm -hmm. But it's not like useless. Everything mm -hmm. on there is like it's got a purpose. No, I know. And like so, the share Wi-Fi thing is nice too. Nah, sideways saying. calculator. That. Oh, that's a sideways useless. calculator is sick. On sideways your, calculator. Yeah, wait, you your, ever turn it to the side? No. Yeah. Pause. Turn your calculator. I feel like that's pause worthy. I don't know why. Is everything you say is pause. Turn my calculator to the side. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this shit. Okay. Oh, my mind's gonna be blown. Oh Whoa. shit. Yeah, dog. Dog. I didn't know that. Ti eighty three in your hands right now. Ti free. phone eighty four. <laughs> I mean, there's so much shit on it. I don't even know what it is. Yo, yeah, sign, bro. cosine, Co tan, sign, yeah. sign, yeah, rad, cosine, yeah. Rand. fucking draw parabolas in that shit, bro. Log, log ten. I mean, come on, bro. I, I bro, my guy. I don't know this shit. Exactly. Ten well, logs. I didn't, that's, wow. that's useless. That's crazy. That's, what, yeah. that's a little knickknack. That's what I'm saying. Stuff Why like didn't that. you guys tell me about this a long time ago? Now I'm upset. <laughs> I We've been like keeping guys, this a secret from you. You guys are hiding shit. I'm not hiding. I would never hide anything from you, Lawrence. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You are. Well, no. Anyway, sup podcast, episode number 80. Number 80. Eight boom. zero. Boom, boom. You... I am one of your hosts, Chris Cheney. Across mm. from me is my guy, Lawrence mm -hmm. Deloach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I want to introduce mm -hmm. officially. The third co-host of this podcast, yeah. Luke Trevisi. Hell yeah. He's the newest Hell member yeah. of the Bad Boy team. Yeah. And he's about to make this, this mad more cream. Duck is cold, baby. The original Duck is cold. OG. Is now permanently cold. Permanently, all the time. All the time. This this duck is frozen. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I see. I see. I like that you're a, the duck and Asian. There's something about that that I enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the duck and I'm I'm Asian. The duck is Asian and cold. <laughs> what do you I fucking love it. I don't know, something funny about that. <laughs> I love it. But anyway, I, what's going on, guys? Not much, man. Just uh just chilling and uh trying to live our lives. I'm happy, man. Luke, for real, for real, man. Yeah. It's, it's great you it's great that you're here yeah. and you're with us and you know, now uh now we both can check Chris when he uh when when he's doing minority things. He, when, when he's, he's doing, doing yeah questionable no. tactics. Questionable I never do shit. any of that. It's, you're trying to associate me with roast duck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying it's it's a nice coincidence to me. I like it. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing derogatory or no, no 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 no. I'm just word association. Of course. Chinese duck. Mm -hmm. See? Filipino. Well, Frozen. you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Icy cold. Anyway, episode 80, sub podcast. Here we are, guys. Where do you want to start with? Um, oh, man. Did, well, you, did you move those Sakai Blacks yet? No, nah, I'm... He's I, keeping them. I, I think, You're keeping them? I mean, them? I don't know. I, I just... That's shoe of the year to him. That is shoe of the year to me, but I like... I yeah. mean, I think the white color is like the... Cream I don't know. 
See, yeah. Luke and I had this discussion. He's like, yo, the, the fucking. The, the wild colorways are the way to go. What, like the snow beach and shit? Yeah. Snow beach one. The uh, That's the best one, in my opinion. The, the snow s- beach, like the yellow and blue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are great. Huh. Nah, I think, you know what it is? Because I feel like I have so many loud sneakers as it is. Uh, so I'm like, I just want a, a low-key flex, like, on some. Mm-hmm. And I feel like those are like, uh, like, we're going to look back in a year and be like, yo, these fucking, these shits is doing numbers. These is like the, they're so like, I don't know, man. Like, they're dope kicks. Just fucking fire. I, 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 you know, it's funny because I, as much sneakers as, as I have, yeah. Like I, I can't tell you the last shoe that I'm like legitimate like this. Like honestly, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but right. like I have like off white Chicago's, and I'm not even as hyped about off white Chicago as I am the Sakai's. Like I know that sounds crazy. That's nuts. But it's just like that's not. It's just like whatever. That's not how people think. That's usually not how people think. <laughs> but I think what it is is it's just like wow. And maybe it's you know I don't know if I'm a prisoner of the moment, but bro, them shits is like. They're like a different, like double tongues, double swoosh. Yeah. Like all that shit. Like, and I'm not even a big see through sneaker fan. This is actually like, I think my first pair of see through sneakers that I kept. Like, I've had like, uh, right. Yeah. I've had the uh, Reacts. I had a bunch of Reacts that I got rid of. But uh, like, React, under, undercover Reacts. I had regular Reacts. Like, I've just gotten rid of them shits. Like, LeBron icons. Like, I just, I'm not a big see through person, but these are just like, Wow, he got so moved. Yeah, that mm-hmm. not only is it sneaker in the year, you're saying you like them better than Off White Chicago's. I mean, at, right now, right now, I get you. I get you. Like you as, could change, like as you. you know, like in terms of you know what you can do with the shoe, like Off White Chicago's are just Off Whites. Like it's like right. they're yeah. you know, yeah, it's like a museum piece. Like it's like damn. Like I, I was talking to another comic who has Off White Chicago's, and we were saying the same thing. Is like, bro, you wear those shits, and just people are just staring at you, like, yo, yeah. yeah what the fuck like bro yeah. like you know if they're real it's like you got a a lot of money on your feet like right. it's, it's like you know like we we had this uh, this thing before where we were like we were just talking and we were like yo what off-whites can you wear without people being like yo serena's well when i say yo i mean like yo bro you know what like you why are you yeah. wearing that yeah why yeah. are you wearing that? like it's irresponsible to be wearing that at this point like we were like we said like you could wear prestos and people like i think prestos are like yeah um the air forces probably you can get away i, I get that makes sense not the blue ones but Those the are, other ones yeah yeah you know it's funny one of our listeners uh his uh his instagram is dr souls i just saw his instagram story today and he he just got the blue Oh, he did. Yeah, and so he's I got had, like still so two grand. Yeah, <laughs> fucking I, in his closet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. And I was saying, I was like, you know, there's like probably, I mean, all like a lot of the off white draw attention in general because of what they are, but like I feel like the blue joints, the fucking Chicago's. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to think of any other pairs that people are just like, yo, why are you wearing these shits? The Air Maxes, I think you can get away with it. I think you can get away with the the Air Maxes, the Hyper Dunks. Um, the less classic shit, like the not classic silhouettes, yeah. I think, is how you get away with people not like looking at you crooked. Like even even if you wear like the UNC uh, off white joint ones, like people are like, all right. But when, yeah. when when you start breaking out yeah. Chicago, I think people just look at it like, like that's because that's the one. That's the yeah. yeah. That's the one. Mm-hmm. That uh, whole collection. That's the one, right? That's the one that yeah yeah yeah. I, I always I would say the I'm. I like the Prestos a lot more than I like the the Chicago ones. I think honestly. I think the Prestos are, are more practical. Yeah, I think that's why. I think like I could see people like people wear those on the street, and I'm like, yeah, that's just a nice shoe to wear, that's as true. opposed to the Chicago, which are like they become a spectacle. You know? Yes. It's the one thing I don't like about the ones is like they like you can't really. What are you gonna like put them with? Honestly, I'm just hating. I don't have a pair. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why we bought Luke here, baby. This is what I love hearing. Nah, I love he drinks it. Drinks the haterade comes not, through. Not even drinking the third, the third opinion, bro. This is fire. I love it, yeah. man. But yeah, they're just a, they're just a weird shoe. Yeah, like man. seriously, if you wear a pair of the, those, you're just gonna be. Yeah, everybody looks at those, but they're gonna look at the shoes the whole time. And it's just how do you put an outfit around that? Like seriously, you know? Uh, no, I think it's actually kind of if you're not doing the neon green laces, I think mm-hmm. it's pretty casual. No. Um, you know, nah, I mean, I think just that sneaker in general is just like, you wear that and people, regardless if you wear black laces, people are like, yo, I, I've only like, it's just like, all right, it's almost the same to me as if 
someone wearing a pair of legit red Octobers. Right. Yeah. Like there's certain sneakers that, you know, it's like, I'm not saying, and once again, I mean, we're, you, you wear sneakers, you just wear, like they're, you know, the retail price of them is, you know, 200 bucks. But I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, how much are they, you know, how they probably cost yeah. like $8, dollars yeah. to manufacture. But like when you see someone wearing a pair of red Octobers in the street, I mean, and if they're legit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're like, yo, bro, that's a a, a six, seven thousand dollar sneaker on your foot. Mags are like that too. But you, how many people have you I, ever seen in the street wear a pair of mags? I've, I've I was, never seen a pair of. Them. I was still in Boston. No, where was I? I was I was in Boston. I don't know if I still live. Was I? Was I? The owner of Karma Loop at the time. Mm -hmm. He went in. He. I saw him. Uh, I forget his name, but I saw him wearing the mags, right. and I only recognized him because mm -hmm. I was like, who's this fucking asshole wearing the mags? And I was mm -hmm. like. Oh, that's the guy who owns Carmelo. Yeah, that's a, that to me like the mags are a pair of sneakers that bro like he, I mean Offset just did uh sneaker shopping and uh with uh Joe LaPuma and he was yeah. talking about that's like a shoe he wants to wear on the red carpet. Like that's the, that's not some shoe you see a guy on 34th Street wearing. No, definitely not. You know, um yeah. Damn. And I guess which version uh, I mean, the auto lace one, like or the button one, right? That's probably the more coveted one out of them. The, the auto lace, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, the yeah. One, yeah. that's the one that goes for more money. Yeah, damn. Yeah, the, when I saw him, it was the non auto lace one. It was just the regular okay. one. So he's still uh, still human. Yeah, so he still I bleeds. Guess. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, he you, still you, bleeds. You guys know the story behind yo. I, I this the the auto lace joint, not the auto lace, but the the ones that weren't auto lace. They were like auctioned off. Yeah, there was yeah. The, it was some British rapper that bought them for like a ridiculous amount of money at first, right? So yeah, so what was happening was each day they would auction off a certain amount of yeah. mags. Yeah. Wasn't this for like uh, for research for uh, oh. Michael J. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever the the, the, uh, all, the uh, Alzheimer's. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, what is he? Parkinson. Parkinson's. Parkinson's. Yeah. Parkinson's. Oh, Alzheimer's. <laughs> nah, uh, yeah, he has Parkinson's. That's right. And um, and I remember, you know, I was I was on a like I was uh, talking to my boy. And he was like, yo, we should bid on them because, you know, a lot of people was bidding and getting a pair for like, you know, three, four grand. And then they were just writing it off because, you know, for. Oh, because it's charitable. It's charitable. Oh, it's charitable. Oh. It's charitable. So a lot of dudes oh. was doing that shit back in the days. Yeah. Damn, homie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, didn't, and I didn't really think about it. I think this was what, 2010, 2011? It's like 2011 when this yeah. shit happened. I I knew I was in high school when that was happening. Yeah, and I yeah, there's no way I would be smart enough to do a tax write off. Yeah, yeah. you could tax write. You people were tax writing off. Yeah, 2011. I was in Boston. Yeah, I saw uh, him on um, Newberry Street. Yeah, I was still in yeah. college. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. 2011. Yep. I, Damn, bro. Yeah. So that's kind of crazy. Yeah, it is. It's uh. So, but that's what I'm saying. It just it just goes to show you like there's there's not too many pairs of sneakers that people can like just wear. No. Without people saying, okay, like I said, like the 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 most of the Nike, even the, if you see most people wearing Kanye joints like Nikes, you'd be like, okay, but like the Red Octobers, the Chicago's, the fucking Mags, they're sneakers that people would just like. Actually, any easy, I'm kind of like, I I don't know, I'd save that. <laughs> like, what are you doing? If it, especially if it looks brand new, if it's a beater, easy, I'm kind of like, yeah, do your thing because yeah. you've just been wearing them the whole time. You know what I mean? But if it's a nice looking. Nike Yeezy. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? You know, I I wear I wore mine. The last time I wore my my uh, Yeezy was I think like like last winter. You have the Zen ones, don't you? I have the tan. What? The tan. Yeah, you yeah. have the tan ones. What? This, yeah. What? I bought, yeah. <laughs> what? They're ten years old. You you got too much going for you, <laughs> dude. <laughs> all right. I live the I gotta reckless be, life. I, I gotta be straight up with you. The we all know ones. that his best pair is the Jaspers, though. So. Which which are which are getting <laughs> which are getting sold soon, I think. Really? Why? Really? I don't know, man. You gotta get to a point where you're like you gotta start thinking like, bro, if I can make a good amount of money, like how many, you know You're supposed to wear those on late night, dude. I know, I know. Yeah. Well, you know what? You I mean You promised us, you told us you I, we, <laughs> I think maybe you could wear those on late night and then just flip them and be like, All right, I wore them and thank you. I don't wanna wear these no more. I'm done. Would you that raise the, the price? You should use the picture of you on late night with them on <laughs> and be like, on eBay and just yeah. be like, yeah. Does that increase the value if you wear them on late no, night? No, that would definitely uh, that would lower the value. Yeah, it would, <laughs> I guess. I for, I like that idea though. I was like, yo, I wore them on Fallon. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, <laughs> extra two hundred bucks. I was looking at I was looking at Flight Club and people was trying to selling them shits for like eight nine grand. It's like, yeah, yeah, eight nine. Yeah, grand. maybe sell them. 
No, maybe, yeah. Kind of <laughs> yeah, maybe put them up. Yeah, dude. You know, you got ten stacks. You put, yeah. Do it over. Do it too much, and just yeah. wait for someone to bite on it. And bite on it. Yeah. yeah. One of those crazy rappers and shit. Yeah. yeah. Drug dealer rappers. But actually, you know what? We should follow up. Speaking of ten grand, mm-hmm. is we should. Oh, oh, geez. The, oh yeah. The Freddy Kruegers. Yeah. You have a follow up story. Yes. So just to remind, if you're a first time listener, maybe new to the podcast, uh, Luke was a guest one week, mm-hmm. and he came upon um, at a thrift store some Freddy Krueger SBs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which are generally ten grand anywhere you go, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So how about you break us down? All right. And so what, what happened there? I wore them to Skankfest, uh, the Comedy Festival. Uh, just had a little bit of fun wearing those. Uh, and then after that, I didn't really wear them much after that, mm-hmm. so I was like, I think I gotta let these go. I think I could find better, like, uh, uh, people were telling me that, like, you know, if you, you, like, you like them because they're SBs, but not because, like, they're your, sh- like, you didn't pick those, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go and I, I go to sell them on, uh, I put them on eBay. Wait, how much did you get them for originally again? $30. $30. I got them okay. for $30, all mm-hmm. right? And then I put them on eBay, sold for nine seventy five, right? And I was like, great. And then the dude was like, "Let me see more pictures." And I was like, "You got it, man. You you can you about to give me nine hundred dollars. You can take. I'll show you all the pictures I got. Mm-hmm. Take more pictures." And then he's like, a, a day later, he's like, "These are fake." And I was like, "What?" He was like, "Yeah, yeah, these are fake." I was like, "Okay, fine." I put him up again, mm-hmm. and then I put. <laughs> I was like, "That's fine. We'll just we'll cut our losses on this guy." I, I put him up again within the description where it clearly says, "These are fake shoes." You know, oh, wow, okay. Go up to 350, right? Mm-hmm. They go all the way up to 350, even on the fake shoes. And then some dude was like, hey, I just read your description. These are fake shoes. I'm not going to buy them. And I was like, yeah, but that's, that's, what's, that's, in the that's what's in the description. It says in the description that they're fake. And then they weren't having that. So they fucking. Really? Then eBay, mm. I put up a third time, and eBay's like, tries to take them down. Because they're like, all right, well, now you're selling fake shit. I'm like, I'm not selling. I'm being very straight up about this, you know? <laughs> wait, it's not, here's the question. So then so then I got to go, wait, it's not even done yet. Uh-huh. So then eBay's like, look, dog, you put these up again, and I swear we're going to get rid of your account. Really? So I was like, all right, now you're threatening violence upon me. <laughs> I like the email from eBay, man. Hey, yo, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Chill, man. <laughs> and, then, uh, funny, and then I go to a Reddit. I go to the the fake shoes Reddit, and I'm like, "Hey, I got a pair of fake shoes. I want to <laughs> sell them. Where do I go?" And they're like, "You got to go to this other Reddit." <laughs> <laughs> and then I go to this other Reddit, and they're like, "I was like, yeah, these are my my fake Freddy Kruegers. Anybody want to buy them?" And they were like, "I will give you forty dollars for them." <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, "Get out of my face!" And then another guy was like, twenty five dollars, and I was like, "I'm not taking a loss on these. Yeah. I refuse." How much did you pay for them again? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. <laughs> I yeah. refuse to take a loss on these. God damn. And then some guy came over and he said, "Look, you're asking for a hundred dollars. I'll give you sixty. And I was like, "Yes, I'll take it at this point." So I doubled my money, doubled his profit. Jeez. But what a what a what a roller coaster! What a roller coaster to sell some fake shoes, man! It was embarrassing on so many levels. And people the- at Skankfest were like, "Dude, those are ten thousand dollars." Yeah. So that, that's the biggest thing is like going to Skankfest and being like, "Yeah, you know, it's just me. It's what I do. I just wear these. <laughs> what I, do. I just wear recklessly expensive shoes to a comedy festival where nobody will appreciate them." And then, uh, jokes on me. Is there a way on StockX or any of these apps to like see the highest price thing they have on there and go like down the list? I don't think so. But Damn. I mean, there's, there's I been so. there's been articles. I mean, and we can. I mean, as I mean, we can as sneaker people kind of think about what's you know pretty expensive. I mean, from like Eminem fours, mm-hmm. mags, Red Octobers. Um, I'm trying to think what else is pretty. Uh, what else is up there? Um. What the what the dunks right uh, you know SBs um, yep what uh, I'm trying to think in my mind uh, what else is pretty expensive um, you know then you got you got your three thousand dollar four thousand dollars you Chicago off white yeah fragments uh, oh I did it I found it you could do it on uh, StockX let me see so yeah here mm-hmm. so the top one I think the, I think I did it right top one is the mag okay that makes sense mm-hmm. we got the um. What the dunk? Yeah, the what the dunk, and then you got the pigeon original dunk, then you got uh, Eminem encores, you got undefeated fours. Yeah, undefeated. Uh-huh. Derek Jeter elevens are thirteen thousand dollars. Yeah, buddy. 
Eminem is, he's got two up here. I know because it's easy because they didn't release them or mm. whatever. But, uh, okay, so the Retro 4, the 2017 is 15,000. Mm -hmm. And then the Carhartt Eminem 4s are 11,000. Mm -hmm. A lot of 4s up here. Yeah. Oh, wait, so yeah, that 2016 mag is 24, which, oh, and then this one's the 2011 one. That's 10 grand. Okay. The Macklemore 6s are uh, super, and those, then those are Travis Scott. Uh, the Friends and, and Family. family. Oh. Wow, there's not a lot of fucking money on the. There's like a barely a thumb move. Oh, whoops. There's the uh, oh, DJ Khaled. Right. Uh, we the best threes. Yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah, Red Octobers are eighty two. Chanel uh, NMDs, the Pharrell. Those are Chanels, right? Yes. Yeah. That's the only Adidas up here. That's the first Adidas, and then these are all fucking Jordans. Well, or they're all Nike. Nike yeah, Nike Jordan. That's what I meant. All that. Um. Wow, that's crazy. And then they're. There's your Krugers at 65. Hey, right thanks, now. man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Love that. Love looking at that. What is that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, like top twenty-five <laughs> most expensive sneakers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone for sixty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, good times. Good times. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I've literally never seen any of these uh, in person except. For the Red Octobers and the Max and the 2011 Max. Other, other than that, I've never. Oh no, I've seen some pinjadunks, dunks, but yeah, this is nuts. That's so much fucking money. Mm -hmm. Damn, I gotta not look at my phone, or I'm just gonna keep like looking at all how much money. You'll just get mad. Sneakers, I know. Yeah. Um. Where do you go from here? Where do we go from here? Um. The mo the moral of the story to the listeners are, whatever you have, wear it, and you know, no matter what the cost is unless yeah. you need it to like unless you need to sell it to uh so you're not homeless yeah but you know but then some you know i don't know just wear your shit yeah i wear think your, i've wear worn shit. i think i've worn everything that's pretty expensive except for like um jaspers and yeah. fragments i haven't worn my fragments i'll wear those one day save those for late night so, yeah those are like so like normal yeah but, but it's the lowest key flex you know what i mean because they look normal but you yeah. know and but, then we'll know. And if you know. If you yeah. know, you know. Or yeah. I, or I can just, I don't know. Who knows, man? That's all depending. Lawrence, one day hopefully you'll be on late night. Let's keep it. Let's keep this <laughs> shit. Yeah. Um, we can talk about um, fucking Foot Locker pulling another move. What did Foot Locker what do Yeah, today? what are they doing? They are investing, I think, three mil into the network app. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about the network app before. Mm -hmm. It seems to be that the app wave is crazy, dude, because this is another app I downloaded today that seems new. It's called Eclectic or something. What, okay. what was that shit called? Yeah, I think it's called Eclectic. Bro, I don't know. I don't know. It's There's just so many fucking apps now. And so Foot Locker not only is going to be in bed with network, they're going to be there. So they're with Flight Club, mm -hmm. Flight Club. And then yep. what was the other thing they invested in? Oh, Goat, because they're the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. That's two apps and then a store. That's a full longer. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You get a, a re, like a general retailer just backing all these resale things. I don't know. Well, that definitely yeah, that definitely screams. Uh, oh, I felt yeah. play don't, here. Don't go through <laughs> oh. the front door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> go through the back door straight up. I wonder if if you're a Foot Locker employee, if you get any benefits to this shit. You don't get shit. No. Get shit. You don't get shit. You know, I think. Uh, I mean, I've had friends who work like at like these type of stores i mean granted i mean yeah they do get occasionally you know they they may get a good pair of, like you know jordans or whatever you know yeah but for the most part nah dog because yeah I, it's not working at a re, uh a retail store doesn't it doesn't have the same benefits that it did maybe 20 years ago 15. right even yeah i mean i yeah i used to hide all the bet so i you know, I've, I've probably beaten this into the ground to listeners that have been listening day one, but I used to work at a Reebok store mm -hmm. on the corporate mm -hmm. campus. So I, and you weren't allowed to save anything. Yeah. So I used to just like get the shit and then I would hide well, it. Yeah, you'd know where to hide it. Oh, yeah. dude, I hid them all over the place. Yeah. Sure. That shoe. Did you ever work at a sneaker store? No, I never worked at a sneaker store. I uh, I work at a comic book store, and at a comic book store, I'll do the same thing. Yeah, you just yeah. hide the rare shit in places that people yeah, this don't. Spider Man look. is going behind this old Batman that no yeah, one cares yeah, yeah. about. Nobody cares about Batman. <laughs> we used to um, when I worked at the NBA store, we did the same. Like not we, but there was certain dudes who you know worked in the footwear department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you know, certain shit would come out. Definitely, uh, you know, alert the employees. Like there's a there's a big thing like when um certain um factory stores nike factory stores when they get certain good shit that drops that comes that gets just shipped there 
bro, I hear some of the employees like they eat because that's oh, big time, you know, dude. that that's yeah. a, that's supposed to be, you know, it's a it's one of the perks. I mean, it's not many perks that you get for working retail, but yeah. You know. I used to so I have a pair of the Bodega uh Pump 20 20th anniversary of the bringbacks. Okay. And actually, you know what? Thinking of the story you we opened with with the walking around and wearing the crazy sneakers. Mm -hmm. Uh I wore those to the store all the time and people get the employees would get so mad at me. They're like, mm -hmm. "Why are you wearing those here?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> you no one can buy them. Yeah. They only made 80 of them. You happen to have one of them. Take those off and go home. <laughs> like, what's yeah, wrong yeah. with you? Where, mm -hmm. You're supposed to wear something that you could sell. And I'm like, dude, I'm trying to flex. And yeah, yeah, of course. I yeah. thought I was the man. And they all were like, dude, you're an idiot. Mm -hmm. You should have mm -hmm. kept those in the box. Should have kept them shits <laughs> in the box. Yeah, man. You no. Know what, what a time. It is a time. Yeah, man. <laughs> $60. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can circle back to Virgil for a second. Uh, what did Virgil do now? So last week we were talking about um, how Meg the Stallion got uh, the trademark on Hot Girl Summer. Uh -huh. Good for her. Yeah, great, awesome, awesome. Good mm -hmm. move. Well, at first, I, at Lawrence, I was like, dude, this is that's stupid. And he was like, no, no, because you know, yeah, mer mer all the merchant shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Virgil's trying to trademark uh, things with quotations in them. Sounds about right. Yeah. And I didn't think about this. It's kind of crazy because he can. Probably get the trademark on stuff that already is trademarked just with the quotations around him, though. Mm -hmm. So he has the whole fucking world in front of him to trademark, mm -hmm. huh. which is kind of crazy to me. Yeah, it is. Because he can take whatever I, it is. I don't think I don't think he'll get that uh, trademark. Just like LeBron couldn't get Taco Tuesday, I don't think he'll get. It. I think he will. Because yeah. I think I don't now. I don't know exactly how you file for a trademark, but it, I think it has to be in line with a part of what you do in your product landscape. Mm -hmm. It has to make sense because that's you know because people could just be, be trademarking all the shit, mm -hmm. and then kind of what they do for do like domains is kind of hold it account you know like and then raise the price or whatever. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, mm -hmm. you know whatever website you want, I'll buy it and you I extort you. Yeah. So I think they try to regulate it, but anything with quotations is in his wheelhouse. So it's like. So I could be wrong. I'm not a lawyer. In theory, you're thinking that he could go. He's like, I want the trademark to Nike in quotation marks. He could, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That might be a little too obvious. But yeah. I think because I, I think that what he was going for was just product bag in quotations. Yeah, product bag. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he's trying to it's, he's it's trying to sneak generic. in first. Yeah. With like a well, I've got product bag. Yeah. But it's like it's the same concept, and then just keep going. And keep going until you get everything. That's kind of crazy. That would be. He can really get hot girl summer in quotations. Uh, <laughs> Probably not, but no. <laughs> no. Are any of us lawyers? No. How are uh, you? Last lawyer? time I checked, no. Okay. By this, they had a Best Western. And... Oh yeah. Yeah. You, ever, you don't remember that? Damn, I pulled the Chris. <laughs> it's like I'm not a doctor, but I stayed at the Best Western. And... You don't remember that, that commercial? No. <laughs> no. Is that what pulling a Chris is? Is just saying something no one relates to? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I don't like that. That's, that's, I don't like that at all. <laughs> I'm not a fan of <laughs> I don't know. Step your shit up. Uh, I will. Oh, it's, I'm not a doctor, but I stayed at a Holiday Inn. I stayed at a Holiday Inn, not a Best Western. Yeah, my bad. Best Western stinks. Well, I, we got to edit that part out. So, <laughs> nah, I didn't keep it in. The listeners need to know I'm human, too. All right. <laughs> Sorry, listeners. I apologize. Uh, no, but I'm, no, I'm not a doctor or a lawyer. No, but none of us are. I'm a sneakerhead who fucking gets caught out there buying shit I shouldn't buy. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, you know what else we could talk about, too? And speaking of, like, the um, investing shit, so, like, uh, fucking Foot Locker investing in Network, I guess Palace Skateboards is looking for an investor to get some flagship stores or, like, a retail expansion or something. Well, they do have, I mean, they have this store in, uh, in like, Chinatown. Yeah, I think they want one. He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They I think they're one. trying to get it around, though. You know I what think I mean? There's, there's a couple of Palace, if I'm correct. I don't think there's just, I think there's one in, like, L.A. or some shit. I'm unfamiliar. I don't know. I know there's one. Okay, hold on. But I don't know. About, yeah, uh, skate. I have not been to the palace store. I have but, not either. Uh, no, I think it's wait a second. It's just one. Is it one in uh, there's four locations? Yeah, there, there, uh, there's one in London, New York City, uh, Tokyo, and LA. Oh, cool. So they already have the two major markets here, and then they'll probably try to go to China. Mm -hmm. And, um, what were the other? What you said, LA, New York, London, and Japan. In, in Japan. Tokyo, yes. In Tokyo. Tokyo, yeah. So probably a China store. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, I get at least one of that and maybe a couple other. Abu Dhabi store. Throw, get wild with it. You know? <laughs> yeah. 
Italy. Dubai action. Yeah. yeah. DBX. Palace Italia. Hell yeah. What <laughs> else you got? Keep going. Um, 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 Sweden. Palace Sweden. <laughs> Palace, uh... Uh-huh. Taj, Taj Mahal. Inside the Taj Mahal. A palace inside a palace. <laughs> oh, Luke! He just came up with the fucking episode name. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> First episode of Fish Host, you get the fucking name. Hell yeah. Mm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> mm. Lacoste is doing a Supreme collab. We'll work true? on your segues. We'll work on them. Is this true? It came yeah. out today. Yeah, it came out today. It came out today? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? How do we feel? I res you know what? I respect Lacoste a lot. Uh-huh. Uh I don't care about that at all. I mean, no? generally, I don't really care about any Supreme shit. I mean, I pay attention, of course, because yeah. they're the fucking leader in the industry. Sure. But I'm not, you know, I'm not chasing after any of that shit. No. Although, Lacoste is fire. You didn't chase after those uh, those different animals? Remember when they were doing the yeah, endangered species one? Yeah, that was sick. One? That no. was pretty fire. So, for the listener who doesn't know what we're talking about, so if you're familiar with Lacoste, you know that it's an uh, alligator? Or... Yeah, it's an alligator. Yeah. It's an alligator. Um, so what they did was, that's their brand logo, so like the polo hay would be where like a fucking, that's, you know, the little chest hits, little alligator, whatever. Um, so, it, what, like a year and a half ago? A year ago? I think, uh, yeah, it was March 2018. Yeah, so they did this thing where they took all the endangered species and then, uh, like kind of Lacoste styled them yeah, out. and then them out. Yeah, that was, and then. They all, I wanted the rhino so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I liked the rhino because I was like, yo, that's kind of attacking Echo and that's kind of fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were the other animals? Uh, let's see. We got an owl. That Ooh. was pretty fire. Uh, what else Ooh. do they have? They had a whale. Oh, there was no rhino. Was there? No, it was a... What is this? Like a... Like a little... What is this? Like a wombat? A wombat, maybe? maybe that's oh, I thought there was thinking. a rhino, too. Oh, no. Oh, we're stupid. There's a lynx cat. <laughs> um, Look at that frog. Hell yeah. There's a frog. Ribbit, bitch. Dragonfly. Dragonflies Animal? are going extinct. Yeah, and there's a, uh, some mackerel, or is that a tuna? I'm I think tuna. pretty sure it's not a tuna. I think, I think it's plenty tuna. Of tuna. No, 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 no. I think there's a problem with tuna. Did you watch that Jiro Dreams of Sushi? Did you watch Jiro Dreams of Sushi? Nope. Wow. Okay. Jiro Dreams of Sushi, the documentary. I like... only know about it because one of our friends has a joke about it. Right. But like, there's a whole part in it where they get like they talk about the overfishing, and they're like, tuna is gonna. There's no more tuna. It's gonna. It's I'll the chicken away. of the sea. That's what you think. That's what that's what Jessica Simpson would have you believe. Well, I think but that moment in re in reality television is the reason why we have all these dumb shows. By the way, I can. That's a different point I'll make later. But yeah. I think it's her fault. I think that's. Yeah, put that on a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's her fault, and it's just Jessica Simpson's face. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. New sub merch coming, coming soon. New sub merch. Can we <laughs> can we make the merch, Lawrence? Yes. Can we make the merch? Uh, he, he was hitting me with this idea last night, but ridiculous. <laughs> I want I want the merch to be ridiculous. We have to have some people buy a couple of them before we make some. No, ridiculous no, no. Ones. I'm talking sub logo all over print on a varsity jacket. Just real. It's five thousand dollars. No <laughs> one's gonna buy that. that. Okay, and if they do, I'll make it for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll personally make it for them. I understand. I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's so, he's so <laughs> into it. Sure. Sure, Luke. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. No, no, I, it's good. I'm, uh, I'm excited, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost as excited for that as I am actually. I, and, and I know the listeners are going to be like, what the fuck? But, uh, yo, man, these uh, these uh, holiday Yeezys are, are actually looking kind of high. Oh, the glow in the dark ones, right? Not the glow in the dark, the yet chill. The, the black they look almost uh they almost look uh uh fake uh, oh, oh. You know, he, and the glow in the dark ones are coming out he added yay at the beginning of all of them i think that's a naming scheme thing that he's going through uh yet yeah, israel the israels the israels the israel. yay reels these right Ooh. yeah those are the glow those in the dark come, they come out in december uh from what I heard, uh, the release date of the Yitchells, uh, which <laughs> Yitchell, uh, are, it's, I think it's the day after the uh, Jordan 11 uh, black and red holiday sneaker. So uh, people are going to definitely have a decision to make. Ooh. Or they'll just get both because apparently everybody has enough money to do this. I don't know, man. I think, you know, I think they're they're making a black. I actually, these are like the first Yeezys that I'm like, you know what? They're. They look so bad that they look cute. It's like almost like... <laughs> they look almost, so bad that they look cute. You almost, see, yeah, like an ugly pug or something like that. Like ugly... Know? Yeah, like, like a, a chick that you're like, yo, I can't put my finger on mm -hmm. if she's like hot. Oh, yeah. is there something about her? 
or like just uh, she, she got it yeah, yeah, yeah but it's yeah, like yeah. whatever it is yeah. it's it and these are it to me like for the first time I'm like i haven't felt this way about a pair of yeezy since like the zebras where i'm like these are kind of cool yeah. yeah i might actually uh change my tune and, and buy a pair of these for christmas man i might take care of myself buy myself a pair of yeezys hell yeah dude Ooh. get one for your mom too uh my mama don't like yeezys no no she's more of like a keds Martin? Yeah, she's like one of those, you know. Like, Pro kids or just kids? Uh, I think like I don't know. I think I don't know. I think she just likes kids. I don't know, you know, what her what what lane she's in. It's not like you know, it's not like Jordan versus Nike. Or but she's definitely a kids person. Hell yeah, dude. She sees like the sneakers that I'd be like, yo. Because sometimes I'll show her. I'd be like, yo, do you like these? She'd be like, ah, they could be better. Yeah. Like, so she's not like a big like boost fan. Has what does she think of your off white? Chicago's. She definitely doesn't care. Uh, she no. You know why? She actually she did like them because she saw them on TV. When I was <laughs> oh. so she saw me wear them. That's a very mom thing to yeah. like see something on TV. So now you like it. She You're did. like, oh wow! Yeah. I, I saw, I saw on the that. guy on the tube thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lawrence, you own a pair of those now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I put my mom on to like uh the like uh how like the story. Mm -hmm. So when I buy something yeah. and has a story attached to it, like she gets excited now. Yeah, she's because really? yeah, because yeah. she used to be just like a walking shoe type of lady, and then you know over the years I beat her down with I'm um, getting these. This is why this is cool. Blah blah blah. Yeah. So now I got her on the story trip where like she'll be looking at some shoes like I don't understand these, and then like kind of hating on them. Mm -hmm. But when I explain, she's like, "All right, these are actually kind of cool. I kind of yeah. want some now." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what? Uh, I saw. Your boy, your favorite designer. John Elliott. He's doing a uh, collab with Caterpillar. Yeah, this is, they do that. He does it like uh, every year, I believe. It's not. This is not the first. Uh, this isn't the first time he did it? No, I believe he's done other uh, collabs with Cat Caterpillar in the past, really? I believe. Yeah. I'm not a big fan. I mean, I was looking at some of the pricing on, on some of the stuff. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> no. Designer Cranes? <laughs> yeah, Designer Cranes. Yeah. Yeah, big time, baby. I'm into it. You yeah. ever been in a cat? Pause. I, no, never. Have you? Yeah. How did you? My dad. Okay. Yeah, he's like a site worker, or like a construction cool. guy. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, yeah. What so, about you, L? No, I've never been in a Hitting that with a power utility shift. Wait, I've never you know? been. Or you asking me about my dad, because I don't really know my dad. But what, what were you doing? No, I was asking about the, have you been in a crane? Oh, I thought you, well, like no. A, a I caterpillar. Mean, my, my, dad, like my, my dad never took me to a, no. a crane. He took me to, like, jail when I was five, but he never took we're me. We're talking about something completely different. Oh, completely different? different? Yeah. All right, cool. All right. So we're not talking about my dad. <laughs> talking about right, excavator. Talking about we're talking about, talking about cranes and shit. Oh, okay. cranes. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. <laughs> Excavator. Excavator. I, I thought we were talking about dads. I was about to no, say, oh, the, no, no, the no, scoop no. action. You know what All I mean? Right, and, cool. then, then you, and then you drop it. All right, cool. Because yeah. definitely, uh, yeah, no. Yeah. No dad, no. no dad talk. No dad talk. No, no, no. No, no, no. I was just saying, yeah, because you, I thought, never mind. Okay, cool. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, yeah, no. I didn't. No, I didn't realize that he done more than one. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, he does. Uh, he has some some. It's actually for those of you guys who are looking, Barney's uh, website has it up already, and some of the stuff is already like twenty percent. I don't know if this is an accident. That's a hundred percent an accident. It's yeah. already on sale. Oh, no. It's, yeah. So like, the take cat, advantage now, people. Yeah. So how one fifty for that tea? Yeah, and I, and that's overpriced. I think that's why Barney's is putting it on sale already. But yeah, so I'm gonna shit. I'd be so mad if I was John Elliott going like, what the fuck? Well, I think I think what's happening. I think this has got to be some type of error because I mean, bro. Well, too bad the show isn't live. Yeah. And hopefully, it's still up there on sale when you guys listen to this. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. If mm -hmm. you care. Yeah, if you care about overpriced t-shirts. I like the Caterpillar brand a lot. Really? Yeah, the overall branding and like, they just they're very. It's like Timberland where it's like you. It's reliable and they haven't really changed that much and mm -hmm. fucking solid if it ain't broke don't fix it mm -hmm. like caterpillar i've never worn any caterpillar clothing mm -hmm. but i mean i assume it's got to be carhartt level like professional yeah i'm sure it not is. like wip like i'm i'm looking cool shit i mean like i actually know it's this like shit. this is the very efficient like this is to get you comfortable for work you know yeah i get it i like it i don't know you know the sweatpants seem cool these guys right here. Yeah. What's going on there? You know? That's not your logo. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, man? It's a little bit of a take. It's a hot take on that logo. Yeah. You've seen the sweatpants, right? Yeah, yeah I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, I saw yeah. it all. 
Oh, he really, he, he zoomed in, he examined, yeah, yeah, yeah. he looked around. He was like, all right. Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that his guy does, he's fucking in on it. Yep. <clears throat> uh, Did you guys see DMX with GQ? No, talk about it. He looks good, dude. Pause. Really? Like, I mean, for a guy who's done that much terrible things to his body involving drugs and shit, mm-hmm. my man was looking fly. Really? Yeah. yeah. I guess he just re-signed to Def Jam. Okay. Too. Oh. So he, you know, this is big, like coming out party is like a rapper again, right? I guess I don't know, but yeah, they. I mean, they kind of came out at the same time where it's like I signed a deal, and then I signed a deal. I was gonna say do the voice. <laughs> I signed a hook. I signed a deal. <laughs> that. And now I'm on the cover of GQ. Nah, I mean for those, I mean I don't know. I'm a little bit. I'm a couple years older than. I'm like five years older than you. Yeah. And I'm not sure how old I am. I'm a lot older than you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a baby boy. But um. Hell yeah, doggy. I mean, there was a time when, you know, and I, and a lot of us who were in that era knew that DMX was bigger than Jay-Z. Yeah. DMX was the shit, dude. He yeah. was... Uh, DMX was literally a fucking shit. He was bigger. Um, there was the Biggie and Tupac era. Yeah. And um, when both of those guys were killed, then it uh, rap kind of took this, like, shiny suit, mace, and even Jay-Z did the whole, like, you know... Uh, in my life, volume one, and it was very like change clothes. It was like, yeah, well, not change, it was very like glittery and glamoury. And then you had this guy DMX who was like, Where my dog's at? I'm a blood, I'm give you dudes a buck 50. Mm-hmm. And and he had two, I mean, that I, shit was, I don't know how many, and you know, I, obviously, I'm not gonna sit here and and I don't know, you know, because it could have been done, and I don't know my my true facts about this one, but I know. X was like the first dude that rap dude that had two number one albums of the year. Uh, it was Dark and Hell is Hot, and then uh, Flesh of My Flesh, same year. Yeah, same year, num- like platinum albums, back to back, Pla- like same year, bro. Like that's crazy. That, yeah, yeah. So, um, I feel like Drake probably did that now. Not no, in the same no, maybe year. Not, no. Rappers don't. Not I mean, you got to realize rappers don't drop <clears throat> albums in the like plat like two. Platinum number one. They don't even really drop albums anymore. They say, they say they're dropping music, and then like after the numbers come in, they either choose to call it a mixtape or an album. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At least that's how I feel. I'm like, isn't this a? It's on iTunes. I can buy it. Mm-hmm. How is this not an album? Yep. Yeah. You don't purchase mixtapes. At least my I, when I grew up, I never purchased any mixtapes. I would just fucking download them, and and then there you had it. You know. So yeah. So basically, X had it's uh, it's dark and hell is hot on May twelfth, nineteen ninety eight, and then he dropped Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood on December twenty second. Flesh of My Flesh, the all blood. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, I got blood on my, and there's no remorse. I got blood on my dick because I fucked the corpse. I'm a nasty. <clears throat> like that line right there was mm-hmm. like, whoa. But it's just like so. That's what I'm saying. So when you see a guy that literally was bigger than Jay Z. And now you look at where their careers are now. Yeah. It's it's so insane. But yeah, man, X was a, a bad boy when he was, you know. Look at my guy right here looking like he's about to go to the Matrix. Let me see. Well, listen. He looks like Morpheus, dog. He's fucking crushing it. Oh, yeah, he is. So he has a, yeah, so X has a snake. Uh, There's a bunch of shit, and they got weird backgrounds with like a, a lightning. Yeah, like that one. Yeah, DM, he looks great. He does look good, man. Oh, bro, he, he's no more crack the skin. One with the cross is really good, too. Mm-hmm. It's good shots. No crack skin, looking fresh. I About mean, to bark I'm, in my fucking earphones well, when sure, the music I'm comes sure out. I'm sure GQ did a hell of a job at uh, at uh, photoshopping, <laughs> but yeah, he definitely <laughs> still looks pretty good, man. Did I tell the story El, about when I saw him at the office? Episode number twenty six. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not. True. <laughs> Episode that was Fire Nikes. That was the I remember that one. Yeah, that was because we talked about the. That was when the fucking everyone was burning their shoes. Okay. I don't know why I remember that's twenty six, but that is. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I ran just a abbreviated story for, for those who haven't heard it. I ran into him at the Ro- uh, Rock Nation office, and I'm pretty sure he barked at me. Yeah, I, I definitely remember. Yeah, I do remember you saying that. Yeah, though. he like growled, and I think kind of barked. Mm-hmm. It was very, it was awesome. It's badass. Yeah, it was sick, dude. Dude, <laughs> good DMX barking at you. Mm-hmm. Fire. I have a DMX joke. I want him to hear one day. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Very right, nice. Good for that. <laughs> Hell yeah, go, dude. Go for that, man. Mm-hmm. Some of us have dreams of. Sneakers on late night. <laughs> yep. Some yeah. Some of us have. I just want DMX to. Well, after I have a joke about Limp Biscuit, someone gave me. This is very off topic, but someone gave me Fred Durst's number mm-hmm. after a show, who was friends with him, and then I recorded the joke and I sent it to him, and we like texted for a while. 
Nice. Really? Yeah, it was pretty sick. Oh. You guys can't seem more uninterested. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fred Durst, man. Nobody yeah. cares about Fred Durst. Fred Durst is awesome. Am I supposed to care about him? He's the voice of a generation. Okay. Uh, no, Lena Dunham is the voice of a <laughs> Get out. You leave the studio right now, <laughs> Lena Dunham. Girls was fire, y'all. I don't give a fuck what no one said. Girls was fire. You didn't watch that. I did. All mm. of it? I feel like a girl made you do it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, man. I... How do we know how long we've been doing? We don't, we don't uh, have a timer or anything. We started, oh, we're about to be hitting an hour in a, in a few. You no think way. So? Yeah. An hour? No way. Because no. it's not even, no. Well, almost. I mean, because yeah. we it's 923. Um, also, we should note that this is an earlier uh, recording. This is a, the Thursday. Usually we record Sunday night and put yeah. it out Monday morning, but this is so Thursday. There's a lot, early. Of, lot of football talk usually on the episodes yeah. recently. Yeah. Uh, right but me now. and L's weekend's gotten crazy, and now Luke's in there fucking throwing kinks into the schedule. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so this is the Thursday before. What's today, the 20-something? Today's uh, Thursday, the 26th. 26. Uh, and yes. as of right now, the uh, score between the Green Bay Packers <laughs> and the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles is uh, 10, Green Bay, 7, Philadelphia. Speaking of NFL players. Uh, Mahomes got an Adidas. Would you let me fucking tell oh, you? I thought I, thought I was going to catch you on the, my fault. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes got an Adidas deal. <laughs> <laughs> Mahomes got an Adidas deal? Yeah. I guess that's a that's a Chris, yeah. So uh Is that what you were segueing into? That's definitely what I was segueing Hell into. Hell yeah, nailed yeah. it. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean fuck it, man. It wasn't that hard. That I did. I, d I did a good job. Great great job, buddy. Hell yeah, dude. Um <laughs> Yeah, so Mahomes has uh well they're dropping an Adidas AM four showtime. Um, it's a very whatever shoe, to be honest. It, well, it's Adidas shoe. It's, it's it's a black and white with trophy style accents, and um, it's very whatever. Well, listen, man, it's not like he's a Nike guy where they can you know do so much innovation shit. It's Adidas, and we're gonna give him that. I'm not gonna sit here and shit on Adidas, but um, you're throwing a lot of shade though. No, I wasn't, man. It's a fucking boo shoe. It's it's Patrick. Let me tell you something, man. Patrick mm -hmm. Mahomes is about to be. A two hundred million dollar NFL player, dude. Yeah, he's coming in hot. Yeah. And um, Pause. and 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 Adidas is about to. They gotta put a lot of money behind this kid because this kid is the like he's the real real deal. Yeah. And um, you know, and, and and we've we've discussed this I think before in terms of football players getting some type of sh signature shoe. Yeah. Hasn't been too many. I mean, Victor Cruz, Bo Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Are we counting Odell? Yeah. Odell. Uh, OB, OBJ really didn't have his own signature. Yeah, definitely. What, the 720s? He had his own. Yeah, yeah they were like his. 720s Also, aren't. are we counting the cleats? No. No, 720s are just like, <clears throat> they're 720s, but these are like Odell, like an Odell. Uh, okay. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like there's football players don't get their own sigs like that. Right. Victor Cruz had a signature shoe, the Air, like the Air Vic, Air Cruz. Yeah, you know okay. Yeah, the, yeah, he yeah, has yeah, had, yeah. Like his own. Like shoot. Odell has not Like they took a, yeah. they took a, they took a yeah. model, and then they threw some Odell shit behind. Who it. was homeboy on the um, on the Cowboys? Elliot, Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott. No, 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 no. Fuck, what was it? Back in the day, old school, nineties. It's a Reebok. Emmett Smith. Yes. Emmett Smith has a pair. Yeah, he has a Reebok. Ooh. They're these big, bulky-looking motherfuckers, but I love those. Okay. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Not too many guys, because football players usually don't, to me, don't sell shoes. Victor Cruz was able to get his own because he was like a, he was like the hot thing. And he, you know, he was in the fashion world. Yeah, he shows a Ronnie he was shit. In, he was a New York guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Bo got his shit, you know what I mean? Because Bo was Bo. Yeah. yeah. Deion Sanders had uh, his own. Facts. Deion Sanders had his own sneakers. Football players with shit. You know. Tom Brady had an Ugg. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Football players aren't the guys. So I, I feel like Adidas needs to, you know, Mahomes is a marketable yeah, guy. Definitely. Yeah. For sure. And, and, you know, if they're not doing something with him, then they're it's criminal because he's the M he's the league MVP. He's in the running to be the league MVP again. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like 24. He's young, so um, yeah. I want to look at this because I want to see football players that have their own signatures. I'm trying to think if there's any other ones. 
It's really tough because there hasn't been that many, and there might have been some like weird, obscure ones that I didn't, I don't even know about. Yeah, nothing really comes to mind. I, I never really followed football like sneakers like that. You know what the the uh, what are we gonna what are we gonna say the uh, the Air Terry Bradshaws and <laughs> Air Terry Air Terrys. Yeah, Air Terry. I mean, yeah, growing was... up, I only cared about skateboarders and basketball players. Yeah, shoes. Okay, so uh, the Air Speed Turf for Dan Marino. So Dan Marino had his own. Dan Marino had a shoe. I'm fucking looking at this. Uh, the this Air is Zoom this is Revis. the time that you guys Google with us. Oh, Michael Vick had his own shits too. I forgot about Vick. Ooh. Vick had his own sneaker. Uh, these are definitely these are more trainers. Like you said, the the Reebok E22s, the yeah. Emmett Smiths. Mm-hmm. Um, Cam has some underarm. Damn, yo, under these Dan Marinos are fire. Barry Sanders had uh Zoom turfs for Barry. Ooh. Um, and Bo, but yeah, I mean, it's not you know football players just don't get their own signatures, yo. Well, they're gonna start because Nike's paving the way, giving uh OBJ a bunch of shit. So a bunch of other athletes that are signed to companies are gonna be like, yo, let me get one. Well, I think, you know, I think when you have a football, like, when you have a football player, it's like, okay, what are they, you know, are they, are they marketable? Right. Right. And then the way football is, it's like, yo, from the time Victor Cruz got his own signature to the time when they really started pumping him shits, he was, like, almost out of the league. Yeah. Like, he got hurt. And then it was like, all right, he was never the same player. And it was like, oh, okay, we're trying to sell these Victor Cruzes. And it's just like. Dude, like fucking fucked up his, I think his knee or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that yeah, was like two thousand. Yeah, that was yeah, two thousand fourteen. So that was two thousand four. That's when o- Odell Beckham and the, they were on the same team. OBJ was a rookie. Vic hurt himself in Philadelphia, and then OBJ took over the team. And then Vic OBJ was, just caught the ball with one hand, and then that was over. And it was. A, and then, I mean, he was. Yeah, he was fucking. Yeah, insane. So, um, yeah, hmm. yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any other weird ones. I don't think so. Damn, that's that's fucking sweet though. Reggie Bush, Reggie Bush had an Adidas. Oh yeah, those are garbage though. Nope. <laughs> no, those are orthopedic shoes. Those are terrible. Oh yeah, those are terrible. Oof. Those are not good at all. No, no, no. Man, Adidas really dropping the ball. Wow. Huh? Revis, Darrell Revis had a pair. Your My guy. <laughs> that's your guy. My guy, Darrell <laughs> Revis. Yeah, Air Revis. Yeah. These are awful too. Arriva Derchi. These are very boring. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, whatever. Calvin Johnson had a good pair. Mega CG3. Should we should we just wrap this one up, you think? Uh, I, I, I just don't know the time. I mean, I feel like I feel like we're at like around 45, 50. Yeah, 40, Oh, really? 45. Oh, yeah, okay. Around 45. Let's keep it going then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keep it going strong. Yeah, yeah. Um, fucking Mahomes, yeah, Elliot. Um, oh, you know what? I want to shout out Alif because they're in the doing a collab with the Bronx Museum right now. So oh, they have, nice. They have a pop up inside the museum. Oh, do they? Yeah. So when, when are they doing like special, like uh, merch and stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's nice. pretty fucking sweet. So they for Black History Month they did something with the Brooklyn Museum, mm-hmm. and now I don't know exactly the purpose. I didn't like ask Trey or any of the guys, mm-hmm. I, and I I just saw that, but I just wanted to shout them out because if you're in New York City, if you go up to the Bronx Museum, they have like their own little section or whatever. Okay. They took the skateboarding sound of crime and flipped it to art sound of crime. Nice. One okay. of the yeah the founders are all like graffiti artists and shit, so they they always care about the art shit. Um, but yeah, it looks sweet. They had a couple of hoodies, a bunch of graffiti tees. Looks fucking awesome. That's sick. They got out behind this nice little glass in the corner inside mm-hmm. the museum. Oh, because it looks like, then it looks like a piece in the museum. There you go, Luke. Whoa. Look at that, huh? Whoa. Keeping that duck cold, aren't you? Art, 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 <laughs> art. Uh-huh. Art, art, uh-huh. Art, 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 is crazy, man. Yeah, so shout out to them. Those are my guys. You know what else I saw is I saw, um, it reminded me of the, you guys remember Lotto's? You might be too young, Luke. No, probably. You I'm too Lottos? young for Lottos. What the fuck? I mean, is we are all of us are too young for Lottos, but you might remember them because maybe like someone like a like a parental figure, older guy might have been wearing them. No, you don't remember them. Mm-mm. No, what are those? Lottos used to have this thing. I think we've mentioned them on the podcast before, but the side logo thing you used to be able to take out. They had like a it was a clear thing that you could switch what color mm-hmm. the logo would be. So like you pull the thing out and then you know you put it back in the negative space from whatever would show the logo. New Balance is doing that with the ends. They're having, like, the removable ends. So, like, similarly to, like, how uh, Nike started doing it on the Tinker shit with the swooshes. Okay. That they're doing it with the ends. And I've been keeping up with New Balance, like I'm telling you. They're fucking doing something right. I don't know who they hired. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Because mm-hmm. they have those non-end shoes, and they've been playing around with the branding. All fucking fire, like those basketball ones we pulled up one time. They have Kawhi. And they have Kawhi. Yeah. 
And I just someone's doing something right over there. Nice. That swappable end is a great idea. Speaking of Kawhi, uh, yeah. NBA uh, media days uh, today's Thursday. M- uh, f- the first media day is tomorrow. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing what uh, players uh, break out some heat, and yeah. uh, and um, you know this is going to be the season where we start. You know, obviously we're in football season now, so we see a lot of players. Uh, we don't see as many players uh, getting you know photos taken of them, you know, dressed up and coming into games. We see OBJ and Hopkins and those type, DeAndre Hopkins and those yeah, type yeah, of guys. Yeah. But the season is coming now where you know we're going to see what Russ is wearing yeah. and uh, and LeBron and and uh, is there any. Uh, any player that you guys are, I mean, I, I, not as a, you know, as a, a, a streetwear fashion podcast, are there any players that you're like, oh, man, I, I can't wait to see what these guys break out this year? Well, Zion, you got to see. It's probably going to be the 34 or whatever that the new Jordan with the hole in the sole that we talked about before. Yeah. Uh, and I want to see with Tatum because that's my that's my Celtic right now. So, which he'll probably also be rocking the 34. Well, I mean, I, I don't want to see Zion, uh, what he wears to the game. So I feel <laughs> like, I mean, if you look at any indication of how he ties his sneakers yeah. and what he's been doing this summer. But also, that's why you got to check it out. I, mean, <laughs> I, I think he's going to be wearing a lot of uh, New Orleans Pelicans, like, gear to the games. I yeah, mean, yeah, we're yeah. looking for the usual suspects. We're looking for I don't the, know. Uh, he, might, he might hire a good, like, stylist. Like, stylist. I don't know, man. I mean, well, if you... Or hopefully his mom just goes like, don't tie him so tight. <laughs> Something. Because yeah. he was choking the shit out of his foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's pretty rough. Um, I'm looking for, I mean, obviously I'm looking forward to the usual suspects. I'm looking to see Harden and Westbrook try to one-up each other on the court and off the court. Right. And what they're wearing. You yep, know, yep, they're both yep. on Houston. Obviously, and then you throw in PJ Tucker, uh-huh. with those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be a, a a dress off between the three of the most stylish players in the league. Obviously, I love LeBron and Chris Paul's in Oklahoma City. So it's like, all right, dude, you're you're not. Look how excited he gets when he talks about basketball. You see this? Well, no, I mean I'm excited because I I like you know I I I genuinely enjoy some of the fits that some of these guys put. No, together. I got you. Yeah, I'm a, if I'm if I'm in a mood to be sad, I'm gonna look up Porzingis, see what he's doing. <laughs> oh yeah. Know? Just gonna be crying tears and be like, "Oh, look at that! That could have been us." <laughs> Chris Stapps, I just saw a picture of him today, yeah. and dude looks like he is jacked. Like yeah, he's I bet. Been, and like after he got beat up Good in for uh, him. Latvia or whatever, <laughs> yeah. however you pronounce it, yeah. Latvia, Latvia or whatever. Yeah, he probably put on a lot of weight. Someone fucked him up. Oh they yeah, beat him up. Yeah, up yeah. There. yeah. They beat him up. He was like in in a white in a t shirt. T shirt was ripped. He was bloody. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's got to put on I that did weight. See that. Say, how could you leave the next man? Yeah, man. <laughs> but uh, I want to see if PJ's going to play and what he's going to play in this year. What crazy shit. I mean, he's played in everything. Yeah, like, like f- every hype yeah. thing, he gets it and then wears it. Like and he just wears it to play in. Fucking. What was the what was the one that the soul fell off of it, like, immediately? He plays in a lot of shit that the souls fall off. Bro. <laughs> shit yeah. is funny. A lot of it's not designed for, for heavy use, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's not, man. <laughs> no, there's no way. I would like to see someone playing Max. Going back to that, <laughs> that'd be fucking funny if he played yeah, Max. Yeah, w- that would Hilarious. be hilarious. That would be fun. 2011 ones. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Damn. If I was on the free throw line and I had a pair of Air Max on, I would just be undoing and redoing the laces every like two. Mm-hmm. You know, just to fuck with the guy on the free throw line. Mm-hmm. Just. Boop, 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 boop. It, that's like when um. Of course, it's got to be a Celtic fact because I don't know yeah. any other ones. But when D Brown pumped up the shoes in the '91 dunk contest before he did the no look, oh, that's what he did. Yeah, he pumped them up. I like that. That's funny. I think players should try to flex shit like that more because that's kind of that's pretty funny. If you put, yeah, if you <laughs> you pump in, so you're a grown man. You know that this is not going to really help you. And you no, just go, not at all. Poop, 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 poop. <laughs> that's kind of fun. No, but I want I want to see some guy wearing the hyper reacts and then like him on the foul line and then like undo the lacing <laughs> and then <laughs> then redo the lacing. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> to get that auto shit tight. Yeah, 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 that'd be fire. That'd be great. Yeah, man. I want. Yeah, I want to see uh, just anything with Velcro. Just Velcro go on. <laughs> <laughs> they should. Wear, they should make more Velcro shit. They should make more Velcro shit. You know what I saw that's Alien funny? Stompers. That's what no, I was No, I was about to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they're doing the boondocks again. Yeah. And Huey's uh, model is wearing Alien Stompers. Yeah? Yeah, he's wearing the low Shit. top Alien Stompers. I love him. I love him. That would be nice. A little Velcro action. Hell yeah, that dude. That would be fire. <sighs> I, I can't wait for basketball, too. Yeah. I just man. can't wait to be sad about being a Knicks fan again. Because, like, there's, there's, like, this <laughs> off... Because we have an off period as Knicks fans mm-hmm. where, like... 
it's the like the whole the beginning of the season is the most exciting because that's when we start making all these bold promises that immediately fall apart. Of course. Uh, then Christmas time comes around and you don't really think about how bad your team is because it's Christmas time. Mm -hmm. And then you have to then winter hits and you're a New Yorker and you have to just deal with the, all the losses. You know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You guys took a big W with Danny Dimes. Yeah, to be honest uh, for sure. But still, everyone's very excited about him. Yeah. Big Dick Danny Dimes. <laughs> <laughs> out here killing it right now. All he did was run in for a touchdown. That and was it, wide open. He won a game that they were trailing a lot in. So yeah, and only because the guy missed the field goal. Mm -hmm. That's what. Isn't it so crazy? This guy wouldn't. If that guy made that field goal, this no one would care about Danny Dimes. No, 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 no. Yeah, Danny Dimes. No. Daniel uh, Jones. Yeah, that's yeah, his last Daniel name. Jones. Yeah, mm -hmm. we. Uh... We we build we build up people and then you know they they disappear. Jeremy Lin, that's a, that's another Jeremy mm -hmm. Lin situation. Yeah, you guys are really just itching for something. We're just anything to anything, click on to. Porzingis, and you know mm -hmm. we're looking for R.J. Barrett. This is going to be the guy this year. This is going to save us. Uh, and then, uh, as you know, once the off season hits and we're not part of it, we get to start imagining about who who we're going to get. Mm -hmm. Then we don't get anybody. And then for a month, it's sadness. And then uh, <laughs> August, <laughs> September, we don't think about basketball. And go. then October comes, and it's, uh, you know, mm. bold promises, Nick's number one mm -hmm. uh, again. That's how it goes. Yeah, because at the beginning of the summer, you guys were going to have Zion. Yep. You guys were going to have Kevin, Kevin Durant. Durant. I, I was on this <laughs> podcast saying, I, do you remember this? I was on this podcast. I said, we're going to get, uh, uh, Ron Artest is going to coach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, we're going to bring Mo Bamba back home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What a Kobe's fool coming out of retirement. Kobe's, <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, exactly. Everybody who is a New Yorker is going to come play. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's funny as shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You got Danny, though. We got Danny. Stick with Danny. Mm -hmm. That's our guy now. Oh, Every wait. Speaking of another Danny, what about Takashi? I read a oh. thing saying that he doesn't want to go into witness protection. He wants to come out after doing all that pointing. All yeah. that finger point and still wants to make music. Um, yeah, twenty four hour, twenty four seven security. I mean, I mean, who's paying for that? Yeah. But I mean, that's for the rest of your life, bro. Yeah, the rest. Yeah, it's a it's a whole sad situation, man. We talked about. I think you and I we talked about it. What do you think about it, Luke? I don't know, man. I think this guy. Uh, I think this guy just is a he. He's not afraid to die. I don't think that's what it is, man. I I mean, look, he caught the jail time. Yeah. He. Uh, or I mean, not caught it. He got caught. He's avoiding jail time. Mm -hmm. I mean, and he didn't get hit w one time when he was out. If he's gonna have security the whole time, he could probably still have a music career. I don't think the kids today care about snitching like like maybe us three would do. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, I'm not like. It's not about I, the kids though. I, yeah, it's the kids are listening though. Yeah. Look, we're you know me and Ella have been on the podcast. So we're we're not street dudes, but right. also I'm not down with snitching. Yeah. Like. But I don't think the kids really care. They liked him just for being a troll, and this he could play into this whole trolling thing. If he comes out with a yeah, fire snitch I mean, song, I mean, what? I mean, what is he? I mean, he's fucking on his last album. I mean, his couple. All he's talking about is Treyway and body in and killing. Mm -hmm. You can't talk about that anymore. I mean, so what's he gonna? He's gonna. He gotta make club hits and like. Well, yeah, he just comes out, and goes, y'all, I was trolling. Like, here's my like new says it all album or whatever. I guarantee he'll fucking. Yeah, I mean, do numbers. I think I think he'll do numbers, yeah, definitely. But um, you know, it's like he's he's a threat. I mean, but I mean, honestly, he's a, a high risk. But I feel like I feel like he's like the feds are definitely protecting him. Yeah, I the mean, Fed, yeah, for sure. But I, I think he'll fizzle out. I I think maybe he'll get one more album out, and that's about yeah. it. I think I think I I do agree with you on that. That the kids probably do not care about yeah, snitching. they don't care about snitching, and it'll probably go for another album but then mm -hmm. what what controversy could he possibly get into mm -hmm. after that uh, after all of this well, that'll no, keep I, him relevant like this is that's the yeah, only it will thing be it will be um i don't know i don't want to say staged i don't like it depends on you know the his situation with the security mm -hmm. but you yeah. know if he's out someone could still try to hit him yeah you know what i mean or in order to keep your relevancy like you'd make up shit and also, I feel like, you know, whoever has to watch him 24 hours, I mean, that's a job that, you know, that's a tough job. That's a job I don't know if I would want to do. No, yeah. especially with someone that big of a target on him right now? No. No, 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 no. no. That shit is nuts. Yeah, so. Yeah, uh, that would be, that would suck to be his security guard. Mm -hmm. To just look at him and be like, I gotta take a bullet for well, this Remember guy? all those videos? He would go outside and it's raining just to do a dance. He'd have like 16 dudes around him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hemorrhaging money, bro. Yep. So. Speaking yeah. of hemorrhaging, uh, I'm no. ready. I'm excited I, for this. I don't, I don't even have a. I don't have a, a transition. I don't know. I think are we are you doing we, all right? 
I don't know. I'm good. Yeah? Yeah, wait. Nothing. You want to just check the time real quick? Yeah, yeah, let me go check that real quick. We'll cover you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Third mic, baby. Feels good, man. We're at an hour? All right. All right. Uh, any last words for anything? Nah, I ain't got no last words. I'm just happy that we got Luke in the building. We got Luke on Thanks the team. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah. Of course, you're a part of the team now. I love it. Up. Thanks, I got to fix all the art and add yeah, your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Um, shout out to Gucci for working with uh, Gucci. That's kind of fire. Mm -hmm. Gucci got, on Gucci. Yeah, so we'll cover that later. But um, not that Cheney, C-H-E-N-E-Y, on all social media platforms. If you like video games, me and Luke play on my Twitch, so it's the same shit. Not that Cheney. Mm -hmm. uh, LZD325, Atrovesus. Mm -hmm. How do you spell mm -hmm. that again? T-R-O-V-E-E-Z-U-S. Um, Discord. Join the Discord. Subreddit. Having mm -hmm. a good time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, Discord's getting popping. Yeah, yeah. More and more people join the Discord. It's, it's fun. There's a small but strong group in there that are willing uh, to download the app and be like, what the fuck is this shit? And then mm -hmm. get in there and yeah. talk shit with us. So, Have yeah, fun. join the Discord. Yeah. Anything else, guys? Nah, that's it, bro. All right, sub podcast eighty. What was the name of this episode? Something you said. Uh, palace inside a palace. Yeah, there we go. Hey. Here we go. All right, guys. See you later. Peace. Later. Oh yeah.